we have assumed that the ace is considered to be a low card, meaning the ace is smaller than a two. So it won't be on this list. This is a list of cards that are greater than four. Picking a marble from a bag of marbles. Recall our bag has one blue marble, two red marbles, three green marbles, and four orange marbles. We can define event as picking a red marble. There are two outcomes associated with picking a red marble. We can define an event as picking a blue marble. There's one outcome associated with picking a blue marble. We can define an event as picking a non-red marble. Now notice, blue is not red, green is not red, and orange is not red. So all those mar marbles associated with those colors are all not red. The one blue, an orange, green, another green, another green, that's the three, three green marbles, two orange, three, and four orange marbles. All of these marbles are not red. The definition of the probability of an event. The probability of an event is defined to be the cardinality of list E divided by the cardinality of list S. That's the number of outcomes associated with the event E divided by the number of outcomes in your sample space. For example, when you toss a coin, what's the probability that the coin lands on a heads? The sample space consists of the two outcomes H and T heads and tails. The event is landing on a heads. The only outcome associated with the heads is the H. So there's one outcome associated with heads out of the two possible outcomes. There is one outcome out of two possible outcomes when you toss a coin that consists of tossing a heads. Numerically, the answer is 0.5. That is, the fraction of one half is 0 0.5. So the probability of tossing a coin and it landing on a heads is 0.5. tossing a coin, what's the probability that the coin lands on the tails? The sample space is associated with the H and the T. These are the only two outcomes that are possible when you toss a coin. The event of a tails corresponds to the one outcome, which is the T. Since there's one outcome associated with the tails out of the two possible outcomes, we can determine the probability. There is one outcome out of two possible outcomes consisting of tossing a tails. We have seen numerically that the answer is 0.5. That is, the probability of tossing a coin and it landing on a tails is equal to the probability of tossing a coin and it landing on a heads. They are both 0.5. When you have a child, what's the probability that you have a boy? There is two outcomes associated with having a child. The outcome of having a boy or the outcome of having a girl. 
The event of having a boy consists of the one outcome, the little b. Since there's only one outcome associated with having a boy, and there's two outcomes that are possible, we can now determine the probability. There's one outcome corresponding to having a boy out of two possible outcomes. Numerically, this is 0 0.5. Probability of having a boy is 0 0.5 when you have a single child. Having a child, what's the probability that you have a girl? There's two possible outcomes, having a boy or having a girl. The event of having a girl is associated with the one outcome, little g. There's one outcome associated with having a girl out of the two possible outcomes. We can now determine the probability. There is one outcome out of two possible outcomes that consists of having a girl. Numerically, we have seen that this also is 0.5. So when you have a child, the probability that it's a boy is equal to the probability that it's a girl, both being one half. Those events are equally likely because the probability is equal, the same value. having two children. What's the probability that you have? First question is no boys. Second question, one boy. Third question is two boys. The fourth question is at least one boy. Remember, there are four possible outcomes associated with having two children. For the first question, the event of having no boys, remember that there's one outcome associated with having no boys, the GG. The event of having one boy, there were two outcomes associated with having one boy, the BG and the GB. Having two boys, remember there was one outcome associated with having two boys, the BB and at least one boy, there were three outcomes associated with having at least one boy, the BG, the GB, and the BB, because at least one boy means one boy or more. In this case, it's one boy or two boys. All we have to do is count, and we can determine the probabilities. For two children, there is only one outcome out of the four possible outcomes that consists of having no boys. That is the 